You must have heard the saying, a watched pot never boils. It's a common proverb, but have you ever wondered if there's any truth to it? Surprisingly, in the world of quantum physics, this saying actually holds some weight. It's like when you keep a close eye on something in the quantum realm. It seems to freeze and refuse to change. This weird phenomenon is known as the quantum Zeno's paradox. Zeno's paradox says that since an arrow in flight is not moving during any single instant of time, it cannot possibly be moving at all. Therefore, the very act of observing the moving arrow should freeze it. Alan Turing, a famous mathematician, first formulated the quantum Zeno paradox, and later on, other physicists studied it rigorously. To understand the quantum Zeno paradox, we need two important principles of quantum mechanics. First is evolution, described by the Schrodinger equation. For example, in this cartoon, an electron is spinning up inside the box. By applying an external magnetic field, we can induce create electron into a superposition state of spin up or down. This has to be interpreted probabilistically. The second principle we need is measurement by an external observer. When you observe the spin state of the electron, its superposition collapses, and you'll obtain a definite result. Either the electron is spinning up or down with certain probabilities given by the so-called Born's principle. Now, we are ready to break down the quantum Zeno effect. We will need three ingredients, our qubit, a magnetic field to rotate it, and a measuring device to measure its spin. One crucial part is this protocol, is that the magnetic field should only rotate the qubit so slightly. At each step, the magnetic field will slightly rotate our qubit. After a large number of steps, the qubit will spin down. This is a routine exercise scientists do in their lab. But now, let's put a twist on the story. If we measure the qubit at each stage, its state will consistently collapse to an up state with a very high probability. This is because the magnetic field only made small rotations to the qubit. Finally, at the end of the experiment, the qubit will return to an up state. It is in contrast to the state without measurement. Interestingly, this entire process bears a striking resemblance to Zeno's paradox, in which Zeno's arrow appeared to be frozen in motion when observed at every instant of time. This is all a good theoretical prediction, but is there any experimental verification? After all, that is the hallmark of science, isn't it? In a series of experimental works, the quantum Zeno effect was tested, and it was demonstrated to behave as predicted. A caveat, this experiment test shows another version of the quantum Zeno effect. In this experiment, you can rotate your qubit simply by performing a sequence of measurements rather than evolving it. More on this in a future video.